Hi, right, Quadcopter 101 here. What I got for you today is my inaugural flight of my uh, X6 Tarantula, Tarantula X6. Uh, I can't pronounce the name of the company that makes this, so I'm just going to call it by its product name, which is, again, Tarantula X6. Uh, it's a larger scale quadcopter on scale and size of the uh, WL Toys V262. Um, it uses similar motors, actually probably the same motors as the V262, with the exception that they are plug-in motors. So you can purchase these motors uh, separately uh, and make, make for easy repair by simply, uh, I guess you remove this top here, unplug the old motor and plug in a new motor. So that's, that's great. No soldering required to repair it. Um, additionally, other uh, features this has, um, it has uh, longer legs than a V262. I guess it's to accommodate uh, uh, cameras, lower hanging cameras that, such as uh, maybe a GoPro that you might want to stick underneath it. Uh, but these legs are uh, attached and easily detached if you don't need, you really don't need the legs. You can use these as landing skids also if you're just using, a, say, a Mebius or an 808 keychain camera, which is very low profile, uh, attached to the bottom. Then just uh, consider removing these um, um, landing gear skids as they seem to be rather flimsy. <laughs> I don't trust them lasting very long. I think Sebi Docky also noticed that. Um, other features this quadcopter has, it has, or, or what do you call it, headless mode as a lot of uh, quadcopters nowadays do have. Um, this one also does have headless mode. Um, I'm going to try to demonstrate that here shortly. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to work very well, but we'll see. We have a win windy day today. It's kind of breezy, so this will be a good test of this quadcopter in the wind. Um, other things, this is the button for your camera or video camera. This is a button for still photos. Uh, this is the button to activate the lights, and again, this is the button for the headless mode. Um, and these other buttons are normal trim buttons for as as expected. This is to change your yaw, yaw rate, that button there, or and yaw and pitch rate. And for doing flips, you press that button. So that is the features of this uh, transmitter. One other thing to note: this is advertised at 300 meters range. This is, might be possible. This actually looks like a real antenna here. <laughs> I'm not going to try that out today. I'm not going to test that today, but in future flights, I will send this out to about 300 meters or attempt to go out to 300 meters. I'm going to need to send my wife down the road to do such because uh, I don't want to go beat in the bush to find it. I need a spotter out there. So let's go into a flight. Let's go right into the flight and see how this performs. Um, I already gave this before I came out here. I gave it a warm up run at home and blew out my motors like we all should do. Remember, when you got these bigger um, brushed motors, you don't want to just go in and f out and fly. You need to do a, uh, say, a five-minute run at low power just to wear in the brushes on these motors. And that's I've done that already before I came out here. Okay, let's go into the flight. Okay, battery's turned on. Turn it on the transmitter right there. Binding the quadrant or quadcopter. Hey, there's one thing to note. Um, this is V2X2, WL Toys V2X2 uh, compatible. I've already tried it with my V2222 transmitter that's been modified. So if I don't get 300 meter range with this particular transmitter, future flights, I will be using my WL Toys transmitter then. Okay, I am going to stay in beginner rate. Let's set it up. Oops. One thing to note, the front end <laughs> has the red eyes on it. It is a pretty cool looking quadcopter, really. Let's send it upwind here. Bring it down a little lower. Again, I'm in beginner mode right now, hovering in the wind. It's kind of real breezy here, but it's doing a good job here in the wind. Let's send it outbound a bit. I'm going to leave it in beginner's mode. You can fight the wind in beginner mode, or beginner's rate. When I get out there, I'm going to switch to expert. Now let's go to expert right now. And what's the yaw on that with the expert? Oh, it flies great. Is there a super expert? Let's press it one more time. Oh yeah, there is. I'm going to fly in that rate. 
Let's see what the yaw rate is in that. Good yaw. Okay, again, this is the inaugural flight, so I, I don't want to try anything fancy right now. I just want to see how it flies, get a handle for it. I'm going to press the button one more time and see if it's a fourth beat. No. So there's beginner, intermediate, and expert. I am not going to flip this just yet today. Main reason being, again, I'm wear still kind of wearing in the brushes on this quadcopter. So I want to be gentle with it for this first flight. It is a cool looking quadcopter though, ain't it? I do like it. The way it looks. <laughs> you can see why they call it tarantula. There's a moon up there by the way. It comes with a 1200 milliamp hour battery. Um, I just tried it with my battery from my um, WL Toys V262. It works in it also. The OEM battery fits in it real easy. So if you got V262 batteries, they'll work with this. Cool quadcopter. I like it, actually. <laughs> I hope it's motors handle or stay uh, are a little more dur durable than the uh, V262 were but again I swear they look almost the exact same as the V262 motors so they're probably not as durable or probably the same okay I'm going back to uh, what am I in one two three staying in uh, expert okay Oh, this has headless mode. Let's try that thing out. I haven't tried that. Okay, I'm going to point it off in that direction where it's pointed right now. I'm activating headless mode now. <laughs> okay, that did not perform as expected. <laughs> I'm going to hold off playing with the headless mode or what they call it, uh, orientation mode until I get a better feel and I have a uh, better field to try it in um, and especially with no wind the wind is a, a player here today again it's very breezy but I'm going to continue flying this going back to intermediate I'm going back to expert And again, there's the yaw rate on this thing, an expert. Again, really cool quad 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 quadcopter. Uh, I think I want to try right away hooking up a 808 camera to it. Let's see how it performs with the 808. Going back to intermediate. meter range huh <laughs> well it's past 100 meter right now so I know I can get 100 meters you know I might pass about 150 meters right now okay let it blow back this winds really blowing this is being blown back from about 150 meters you know this transmitter is pretty good I'm surprised. That's good. Am I blinking yet? Let's bring it down and see if any of my lights are blinking. No? Let's send it back out there again. I'm going to hold it up a bit. Notice how I'm holding the antenna. If that antenna is a real antenna, that should be the perfect orientation for it. Sending it upwind. Okay, I'm about 150 right now. Okay, I'm about two. Oh, there we go. But that was about 200 meters, and it dropped there for a second. So it has good range. I don't know about 300 meters, but that was about 200. 
Oh, my lights. Lights are still good, so it's got good flight time too. Send it up into the wind again. Now the reason I'm sending it into the wind, if I do reach the its edge of its range, it should drop and drop, hopefully, back into reception of this uh, transmitter. So that's kind of an advantage if you've got a little bit of a wind. Okay, I'm way 200 meters right now. Maybe I can make 300 meters. Let's see. <laughs> I think I am close to 300 about now. It's getting quiet out there. Okay, I'm bringing it back in. I'm not going to do it until it drops. <laughs> That's pretty cool. This is a good transmitter on here. All right, how's its lights? The lights still are not blinking. Okay, let's try that again. Send it out. I'm sending it up about 30 degrees up upwind. Again, the wind will blow it back, hopefully. This is a very interesting quadcopter. I think this is going to be a big seller. Especially with the range. I don't need to use my uh, fancy modified transmitter with it. Its own transmitter, unmodified, is sufficient. Love it. It's way out there now. Okay, again, I'm close to 300. I'm chickening out. <laughs> Just letting the wind blow it back. Okay, I think that's enough for the inaugural flight, even though its batteries are still good. <laughs> it's a nice long running flight, but again, I don't want to wear out this motor, so I'm going to call it quits for the flight, even though I can get more flight time out of it so let's land it really cool I like this quadcopter this again is the tarantula x6 let's feel how those motors are I'm putting down the transmitter let's that motors not even warm that motors hardly even warm that motors nice and cool so these motors aren't getting hot Oh, that one is a little bit hot. That one's a little bit warm, but the other three are fine. This one's not hot. It's just warm. Okay, again, Tarantula X6 inaugural flight, inaugural test flight. Hope you enjoyed the flight. Uh, you'll see many more, I hope. Okay, Quadcopter 101, signing out.